Hey Slappers, today we're going to talk about how to fix the JPEG photo attribute in OpenLDAP. Now if you haven't used LDAP before, it's a fantastic old protocol for managing accounts, passwords, directories, printers, DNS, everything you can imagine. But there's an issue in the Debian repository's OpenLDAP version and maybe affecting other distros as well. When you create an image for a user account, and go in and then try to change that image, the JPEG photo content, it doesn't let you do it. It brings up an error message. Um, this doesn't matter if you know, you're trying to change one that existed already in your directory, or you create a brand new user from scratch, as we're doing right here, try to add a photo, and then try to change it after that. You'll see that we get this error related to no equality matching rule. And then when we try to delete it, we get the same error message. So what's going on here? Now I'm using Apache Directory Studio. It's a LDAP client. Um, you know, it may be the client itself. So here we go. Here's a query that's going to help us delete the photo in our LDAP directory um, directly from the command line. So you can see I'm deleting the JPEG photo for this user. There's all the information. We'll run the query using LDAP modify, loading in that LDIF file, and you'll see we get a new error this time, but still an error, insufficient access. So what is going on here? After days of research, I couldn't find an answer, but I did find someone else who had the same issue, mailing on the open LDAP mailing list. And they, they pointed out exactly this. So they say, we've noticed that it's impossible to perform entry modification for the JPEG photo attribute. That's exactly what we're dealing with, right? And so they realize it's part of the schema definition relating to the equality specification. Now, what does that mean? I had no idea when I first came to it, but I got curious. So I started looking at the specification, the attribute type for the JPEG photo attribute. Um, and started looking into what I could find. Because although this problem was identified out there in the wild, there was no solution for it. So I loaded up my config here, and we can see that there is this attribute type for JPEG image. And it's very simple. It has a name, a description, and a syntax. Now the description points to an RFC uh, to 2798. And I actually went and I read that RFC because I, I was dazing on this and I was like, what the hell is going on? And looking at the RFC, looking at what I have in my config directory, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. So I dug further and I checked the LDAP wiki. I compared it against the LDAP wiki and lo and behold, the OID number is different. I'm sorry, the syntax number is different, right? So this is pointing to a different type of information than more up-to-date documentation would expect us to have, right? Because that RFC is very old. So what happens if we update it to the latest syntax? Right, so all we're going to do, and here, here's my update LDIF, all we're going to do is change the syntax number from that old 1.28 number to the 1.40 that we found on the LDAP wiki. So we're going to run this LDAP modify query, and we're going to update that syntax to see if that allows us to finally modify the JPEG photo attribute. So we run the query, we see it, it succeeded, there were no error messages. Let's reload our database and try to modify one of the images. So I go here and I try to delete it first. No dice, same, same error message, no matching equality rule. Okay, so what's going on? Back to the drawing board. Let's look at the LDAP wiki because we seem to be getting some traction here. And I notice, you know, there's an, there's an attribute here for equality, right? And that's exactly what the error message is referencing, that there's no equality matching rule. 
So we look through the equality matching rules that are available for LDAP schema definitions. And the only one that seems to apply is this octet string. And that's also what's referenced on the page for the JPEG photo attribute. So let's try to update that. So the original definition did not have an equality attribute within it, neither in what we just updated nor in the RFC. So we had to completely write our own. So I just added equality octet string match to that attribute type nestled right in there between the name and syntax. So that's all we're going to be doing. We're keeping the syntax number the same. We're just going to modify it to add that equality parameter in there. The query succeeds. So now we've modified it. Now let's try to go back, reload our directory, and see, can we finally modify the JPEG photo attribute, or at least get a different error message? OK, so we deleted it. Looks good on that front. We're going to re-add it back anew. So remember, we weren't able to delete it before, so we're making some progress here. And I'll just load in a random picture. It'll take a while to load as it's uploading the JPEG image. OK, we see it. It's just a wallpaper. All right, let's try changing that image now. I'll upload a picture of myself at one of my favorite Chicago diners. It's loading. And it seems to have gone through. And look, there I am. So that was all we needed in the end was to make sure that the syntax number was correct and the equality rule was stipulated. Now, I don't know why the default package for OpenLDAP does not have the attribute type for such a common attribute, right? JPEG image. So many databases rely on images um, of you know, their users, their members, their employees, what have you. Um, why that is not up to spec for the current um, definitions and why it doesn't work out of the box. But if you ran into this problem too, here's your fix. Check the description below for a step-by-step -step guide and a complete LDAF, LDIF file to uh, add to your database to correct this issue. Um, and you'll be off and running with being able to delete and modify JPEG photos as you please in your LDAP directory.